On to continuing coverage about a story we first brought you on Monday. A local vet contacted us about the validity, their words here, of the organization claiming to benefit other veterans. Yeah, on Monday, KETK's Care Pritchard spoke to two people who say that they are former business partners with a man whom they say is defrauding the community. Today, she spoke to the man they're accusing. She has our report. Resort Point International Travelers, or RPI, is a company created by Lance Cheatham. People buy into a travel club. A portion of that goes to send a veteran vacation. These veterans don't owe anything except their travel and food accommodations. Daryl Peary and Jessica Wilson are former business partners of Cheatham. He needed us to help manage the day-to-day -day workload and to get all of the transfers and to get the vacations booked. I started in January and he paid me 250 bucks um, once out of three months. Wilson says their goal was to specialize in helping people get out of bad timeshare contracts and send veterans on vacations. All of these transfer uh, timeshares that he was transferring into his cousin's name, not the company's name. So we have no legal authority or, or any contractual obligations to have that transferred to us. At, at that point, we knew that it was all fraudulent, that there was nothing being done for veterans. Peary says they set up a new company and kicked Cheatham out. There are still about four contracts left to transfer. We just have to refund them all of the money. I would say probably about $10,000 at this point just for the few. Initially, Cheatham did not want to be seen on camera during our interview, but after our interview, agreed to be shown on camera. RPI Travelers will do a vacation voucher and give you access to my inventory that me and my cousin own. The man took a risk by putting timeshares in his name and owning up on the maintenance fees on those timeshares where he can volunteer to send veterans on those accounts every year. We have not been able to contact Cheatham's cousin as of Tuesday night. He says he has not been contacted by his former business partners since May 9th. I signed for one voucher. Okay. And then from there, they took it in their own hands to do more vouchers. The general manager for Lake Palestine Resort says he received some of those vouchers in exchange for food and lodging. I didn't know him very well, but uh, he obviously was you know, needing a little money and didn't have a whole lot. So I, I took a, I took the, uh, the offer, okay? He left with me four uh, vouchers for a week's stay any place uh, that I wanted to go. He says he tried to use the voucher, but no luck. And the cost of food and lodging he provided Cheatham, he says amounts to about $1,200. And one Tyler restaurant who did not want to be identified tells us they also exchanged about $300 worth of food for the vouchers. At the end of the day, if a certain person didn't do their job and I didn't know about the trade out or it didn't get taken care of and it come back on me, then that's on me. And I will fix every client that has any issue with us because I don't know there's an issue. He says he has created multiple businesses through Facebook, all in an effort to become a nonprofit. After everybody gets paid, after our installers get paid, and everything else, that, everything else that's taken care of, our promises are fulfilled, then we take whatever's left over and we're putting that into pulling strings for veterans. However, they say no money has been made so far and no veterans have been on a vacation. We're trying to help. We're doing everything that we can. We're using all of our resources. And we've literally used all of our resources to get this off the ground and running. Are we perfect? No. Are we going to make mistakes? Absolutely. Kara Pritchard, KETK News.